Hey, what's up, YouTube? TF Guy 86 here, another Transformers review. Today I have Fans Project Crossfire O2EX Quake. Uh, Quake is like this little minifigure um, weapon, target master thing, whatever you want to call them, that came with the uh, newer uh, Munitioner and Explorer by Fans Project for the Takara Tomy uh, reissue Bruticus. Which is the uh, Revenge of the Fallen Target exclusive here. Just zoom in on him. He's a little pistol. He's got a little scope. Which is very neat. Uh, I think he looks better from this side. Even though there's a, there's a screw right there. But I think he just looks more like uniform. And uh, yeah, he's real cool. He's got this little handle with a uh, slot in it. And uh, it, it does fit in Brutus... Bruticus's hand, sorry, but I don't have Bruticus because I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> Plain and simple, I just don't have that kind of money. But uh, would I love to have him? Oh yeah, yeah, I'd love to have him. But uh, I really do, as you guys know, I love Shockwave, so I had to buy this guy when I saw him at the convention. Um, he can be held by other figures in Bruticus. Here's animated Voyager Shockwave, the purple one. And you can hold him quite nicely, actually, which is really, really neat. Uh, you know, just shockwave holding shockwave. What better could there be? That's cool. He looks hes very nice holding him. Just a little profile view. It looks cool. But uh, I've had Primus hold him. So far, I've had uh, I've had uh, my incomplete Unicron hold him. I can get him to stand for a second. That, you know, he does. He doesn't really stand like that all too well, but uh, that's whatever. I can I can deal with it. I just sorry, just fixing something on the tripod. It's a little loose. There we go. Alright, let me just focus on this big guy. Alright, so here he is. Really, really cool detail on him. Uh, can already see. I'll focus more on the detail in the robot mode. But uh, really cool. He's got like a little barrel that looks like you're looking down. Neat. Uh, very simple transformation. Very tiny, tiny figure. First thing you want to do is split his legs. Rotate them and bring them up. This is actually a step I just recently discovered uh, that you have to pull them down for gun mode and bring them up for his uh, his um, robot mode. Oh god. Uh, you know. But I actually did not know that. Because his legs were always like that ever since I took him out of the package. Oh, transformed him without saying anything. Uh, you want to flip this back, kinda. Bring this arm up, untab that little piece, and then that'll click into place. Rotate it at the ball joint, right there. It's kind of out of focus, hold on. There we go. And then, same thing with this one, rotate it up. Uh, now you can click that back, rotate that up, bring it around. And this one's on a slider joint, you just kind of, and you hear the little click, and his fist pops out. It was very neat. And then just rotate his head. And you have little Quake, a.k.a. not Shockwave. And this little guy is awesome. I love him. Um, I don't think his legs are even here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here we got little Quake. And this little dude is sweet. I mean, just look at him. What more could you want from him? He's a little tiny shockwave. He's like, ah, me shockwave. <laughs> I love this little guy. Uh, this might be a little bit of bias review because I love shockwave, but I'm going to try my best not to. Uh, for size comparison, here he is with Smokescreen from the Beast Hunters Legion class. And Smokescreen is a little bit taller than him. So he is smaller than Legion, uh, just for you guys to know that. 
He is uh, very, very small. Uh, if you guys have PE11 PE Scouting Force X, that's kind of like what he's in scale with. Like that's that's just about what size he is. Um, I might be reviewing Smokescreen this week or next week. I uh, haven't decided. Maybe just because he's down here, I'll, I'll review him on Wednesday. But um, So here we have a little quake. I mean, a little quake. And uh, I'll just bring him forward. Might fall off the table, but uh, that's that's pretty much. Oh, let me bring the camera up. Oh, that looks cool. It's a little shockwave face. But uh, you guys can just kind of see some of the really really nice molded in uh, detailing on this little guy. Just especially like that chest piece and uh, all that fun stuff. Yeah, he's a very, very tiny figure, but uh, very nice. Here he is with Fall of Cybertron Shockwave, and once again, animated Purple Shockwave, who may be reviewed sometime this week again. Um, I've had him and animated Grimlock and Fall of Cybertron Starscream just sitting here for months now because I was lazy and didn't have time for reviews and yada 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 but now I'm back in the swing of things and I know I always say that but this time it's official you know I'm running off a schedule now every Monday Wednesday Friday is a new review and that I will promise you unless otherwise noted um, if I know ahead of time I will say in the previous review that oh there won't be one on say oh uh, I won't be reviewing on Wednesday I may put one up tomorrow or I may put one up on Thursday and Friday just to you know kinda compensate for it but uh yeah <laughs> but uh, Little Quake is awesome I really really do love this figure I bought him for 20 bucks which is kinda pricey but I think it was worth it but then again I also love Shockwave um, I wish I brought Beast Hunter Shockwave down here to show uh, comparison with. Uh, I will be reviewing him, I don't know, soon. I can't really say who I'm going to review when because I just kind of decide the day I review it. Like, I wasn't planning on reviewing Quake yet, but hey, brought him down. I was like, eh, I'll review you. Uh, it was supposed to be a lot quicker of a review, too. I know. Sorry, guys. I just kind of, like, babble on sometimes. But um, anyway, if you do have a chance to pick up this figure... Uh, pick him up. He's really, really cool. Uh, I, I've had a lot of fun with him a lot. Uh, one thing I want to note to you guys is this little clip back here where um, this kind of rotates. It's like a little hook-shaped clip. It is stressing on the inside, and I noticed that the first day I got the figure. So uh, be careful of that, because I don't want any of you guys to break. Uh, you know, like just like I don't want mine to break either. But, uh, yeah. Quake is awesome. <laughs> um... He's really awesome. I, I love this little guy. Can't say that enough. Um, you know, if you guys are into uh, third-party stuff, definitely, definitely try to find one. Uh, if you like Shockwave, pick them up. You like purple things, pick them up. You like Cyclopses with one cannon, pick them up. Uh, fans Project fans probably already have him. Um, this is my first uh, Fans Project item, and I do have to say I'm very pleased with it. Um... I don't remember, is it Fans Project that makes the Warbots? Uh, I think so. But uh, whoever makes Steel Core, I really want that. Um, I've been looking for one for forever, and people are charging like 300 bucks for him, and I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like he's worth 300 <laughs> So I hope they re-release him soon, or something. But, um, yeah, very happy with Fans Project's quality on their plastic. Very, uh... Very good quality. I can't say this thing feels cheap. Uh, you know, he's lightweight, but that's because he's so little. You know, he doesn't doesn't feel hollow. He's all solid plastic. And, uh, you know, he's pretty poseable. He's got ball joints, like, everywhere. His, his arm. I haven't really put him into a pose. I just kind of keep him like this on the shelf next to my uh, PE11 guys because he just kind of fits, fits in with them. 
I feel like oh, I feel like his shoulder is supposed to like lock in place here or something, but it doesn't. I don't know. I didn't break anything. That's weird. You, you guys can kind of see it's like a little gap there. Well, that like it's supposed to be like that. I think. I don't know. Either way, I don't mind it that much because he's so little and awesome. He's a little shockwave. Should have brought my bot shot shockwave down here too. Oh god. Anyway, uh, I've been rambling on too long. If you guys are still sticking with this, thanks. You know, thanks for hearing me ramble. I know uh, some of you guys probably enjoy it. Man, some of you guys probably hate me for it, but eh, whatever. Get used to it. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, totally pick this guy up if you can find it for the right price. Uh, price. I paid twenty bucks for him. I think that was worth it for me, considering you would have to pay fifty to get him. So technically. You know, get them for like 75% off, or whatever. I don't know. I'm not good at math. But <laughs> definitely, definitely pick this guy up. Um, I know, I just want to apologize. I'm sorry this review is a little bit later than my regular reviews. I, I usually put them up like 6.37. Um, it's like 9 o'clock now uh, at the time I'm recording this. But, uh, you know, I, I just ran into some stuff today. Uh, sorry, but I, you know, I was still able to get down here and review. Um, yeah. Pick this guy up. He's awesome. Totally recommend him. Double thumbs up. Woo! But, uh, yeah, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe for uh, more videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like I've said previously. And, uh, you know, thumbs up helps me a lot. Leave a comment. Um, tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your grandma. Tell everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's all I got to say. I'll see you guys on Wednesday.